What's up, YouTubers? It's Jennifer, and I'm coming at you with a, oh, not so fun video, but it is Sunday, and I sound and look like crap because I'm sick, and it sucks, um, so if you hear me blow my nose or whatever, I apologize in advance. Um, I feel like crap today. Um, that's not what I'm, my video is going to be about. My video is going to be basically about how my BPD is acting up. Um, like crazy lately. Um, I've had a lot of hardships happen back to back to back. Um, from putting my 13 year old dog down who's been my best friend for nine years. Um, I adopted her and she's been with me through like everything. Um, but she I think developed cancer and they were worried how fast the tumor grew that it would be it caused blood poisoning and just her being 13 years old alone I, it was just time and it sucked um on top of all the drama with my baby daddy i hate that term um but my youngest daughter's father um just that relationship um cps being involved my court case is not going the way i want them to or hope the, that they go um just the case not being closed the case still continuing it's a bullshit thing that it's still continuing i don't know why it is they make up shit cps just well yeah i'm just gonna say it right now like cps fucking sucks okay um i'm just um sucks but um then my grandpa died um my cousins texted me and said that he went to the hospital and three hours later he was dead so um I haven't seen my grandpa since I was in high school, so I'm upset and shocked, but I, I don't know. He was in his 90s, I'm sure. Um, I can't remember the exact age he died, but he, he is one of those people who basically, um, he, he would help everybody and anybody. I mean, he, he was one of those guys where, like, at 82 years old, was out there shoveling the walk for his neighbors because he felt bad or he was out underneath cars trying to fix them or pretend like he knew what he was doing I mean he he he's one of those guys who just wanted to be helpful um I couldn't make it out to the funeral because it was back in Nebraska um he died on a Sunday um Monday Monday and the funeral was on Friday so because I remember I was at work and I got all these messages um from my cousins on facebook so that happened um another thing is i just found out yesterday that my five-year-old's grandmother is divorcing her husband which is a good thing for her um because they probably needed to be divorced for for years um but that's not the bad thing the bad thing is that she's gonna move down to florida <laughs> so not only excuse me if i'm picking at everything i had dog hair that flew in my mouth anyways um not only do i not have custody or see my son who's nine because he lives in indiana <clears throat> with my ex-husband but now i'm losing my five-year-old daughter because <laughs> she's gonna move down to florida <laughs> and i don't have my baby my baby baby so i have <laughs> My son that I don't have. My five-year-old's gone. I had a stillborn. I mean, every kid that I've had is basically, it's like, why do I even bother? It's like one of those things you don't, I mean, my five-year-old Airly, she was my accident child. She was my happy accident. I mean, that was just, she was not planned. That was a birth control fail. Um, and it's just sad because I lost her. I lost her because I was put in the hospital, in the mental institution because of postpartum depression and suicide ideation. And her father um, doesn't have custody because he's an alcoholic. And I just found out on top of that, <laughs> that he has not seen her for like three weeks because he's been drunk. I mean, how do you not see your daughter for three weeks? Because 
Jesus, you're drunk. You you decided about alcohol first. I don't get it. I'm not trying to cry hysterically in this video, but I want to just tell people that. How does this affect my borderline? <laughs> because all I keep thinking about is the guilt. <laughs> like, there are things that... <sighs> Excuse me, let me pause this real fast so I can blow my nose. Hold on here. Alright. Um, it's affecting my borderline because of the guilt. I feel guilty because of the things I have done to not get my five-year-old back. I mean, I was in and out of the hospital. I was, you know, I was in jail. Um, I mean, there's things that I regret now. <laughs> Cause, And then I find out on top of it that like, I thought guardianship meant that I had a chance of getting my five-year-old back. I did not know it meant, no, she's in guardianship permanently and I have no chance. So I found that out, too. So all this shit, basically, has come down on me. Because now I just feel completely hopeless. Like, like I just want to disappear off this planet right now because it's like... My head is literally about to explode. It's like, I hate going to therapy. I hate it. It's just, it doesn't work. It really, honestly, it has not worked. I've been going since October. It doesn't do shit. It doesn't address the issues that I actually need to address. And for 45 minutes, it's a waste of fucking goddamn time. It really is. And it's like, all I want to do, it's like, I just, I just want to disappear. And that's, Maybe why I, my body just finally just shut down and said, okay, enough. You're, you know what, we're going to make you sick and we're going to make you sit at home in a quiet environment and not do anything. And usually I refuse to believe that I'm sick. I was running a fever, so I actually am sick. I took my second round of Tylenol about 30 minutes ago to draw down the fever. So, but I'm one, I don't get sick, but, um, excuse me here. Um, I'm just overwhelmingly upset and I just feel completely like like a failure basically like my five-year-old's gonna grow up wondering why I didn't fight for her not understanding like why um it's different between my son because my son I didn't I mean I didn't see him I mean he my, my ex took him at four months old to Indiana. Um, and I could do a whole nother segment or answer any questions below on that issue. I know I've said that a thousand times, but my five-year-old, it's different. When I've not really had her since birth, but I mean, I did. And it's just so hard because I just, I feel like such a failure. I feel like the worst mom in the world. I this immense guilt that I have, this immense shame that I have. It's hard. It's 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 like all I want to do is just disappear. And I don't know what that means really. I honestly don't. Sorry for the rawness of this video. I'm trying not to make it too extremely long. I'm just I like to videotape all my rawnesses because I know there are many people out there who have borderline, who have kids, or who might be going through CPS, or who might be going through um, fathers or mothers, you know, of their kids who have alcohol or drug problems. Um, so I just want to help other people and say, hey, look, this is my story, and this is what I'm going through, and hopefully I can shed some light and say, it's not worth going down the suicide path. How about that? My head right now is fucking gone. I mean, my head is like in this realm of like, I can't even explain it. I mean, I, I it's, my head is basically exploded. I mean, I am so in this realm in my head of dark thoughts and I'm so lost right now. And you can hear my voice shaking because I am trying so desperately hard to control myself and all I can 
do is the fact that like I have to rise above it and I have to survive and it's so hard but I'm not gonna dwell on this video anymore I just wanted to put this out there that um my borderline is acting up sorry this video is already dragged on and I'm whining and complaining and I'm looking like crap and I'm crying and I'm blowing my nose and I'm just um distraught and upset and I I'm a mix of everything and I can't even explain it right now maybe I'll do another video um later on and post two videos today I'm not sure yet but yeah hopefully there's hope if you like me please like and subscribe if not I at this point don't really care